Hey guys, so today I have this makeup tutorial to show you and it's just what I'm wearing on my face right now. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. I'm always excited, but I'm excited because I haven't done one yet on my channel and makeup is something I am very like passionate about. So yeah, I really hope you guys like it. I did use the Naked One palette in this and also I tried out eyeliner. I'm just starting out with trying out eyeliner. I don't I think it turned out okay. I think I could do better, but I just need more practice. But anyways, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and thumbs up this video because that's so cool and it's so easy. All right, so let's just get into it. Hey guys, so I just like to start off by tying up my hair because I don't like to get my makeup all in it, and I'm just going in with my Instant Age Rewinds Dark Circle Eraser Concealer by Maybelline, and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes and then I like to put it on the sides of my like the round edges of my nose because I have redness there and I like to cover that up and also on my smile lines because those get kind of dark sometimes and my makeup likes to crease in there and when I put concealer there it makes it better and then I like to put it on my forehead just to brighten up the look a little more so then I'm just going in with this flat foundation brush and I was using it for foundation but I didn't really like that because it makes my foundation really streaky and it like almost just seems like a bunch of paintbrush streaks on my face so I don't like that so I just use it to blend instead because it's really good with really thick consistencies like my concealer so that is just what I'm doing here. Then I'm going with my MAC Match Master Foundation and it has SPF 15 which is awesome for the summer um, and I'm in the color 3 if that means anything, I don't really know, 3, the number 3. And I'm going in with my Optical Blurring Brush that is by Urban Decay and I'm just dotting that all over my face and then using like a pouncing kind of motion to like even it out kind of if that makes sense almost as if you're using a beauty blender but you're not <laughs> so you're just kind of it just helps a lot if you wipe I feel like you're just moving product up and down your face and you're just moving it around and it's not really like blending into your skin and I feel like pouncing motions really help a lot and also I am blending that down my neck because I don't like my face to be one color and my neck to be another because no matter what, even if you get your exact shade of foundation, you should always blend it down your neck. Then I'm getting my flat top foundation brush and I am put a little bit of powder so that it doesn't wipe my foundation all around and I'm just putting that all over my face. Then I grabbed my Clinique Invisible Blend powder and I'm using my Kabuki brush and putting that all over my face as well to set my foundation. Then I'm going in with my Benefit Brow Zings um, Eyebrow like Duo. I am in the darkest shade because my hair is like really dark obviously and so I'm just filling in my brows like normal. Then I'm just using my Urban Decay Naked One Palette and I'm going in with the lightest color which is Virgin and I put that as like a base just because it's so light and like such a frosty color that whatever eyeshadow you put on top will stand out a lot so then I'm going in with the color Sin which is almost like a pink like metallic color and it's so pretty I love this so much and it looks good on anybody so I really love this color and I'm putting that all over my eyelid. Then I'm going in with the color Buck, and this is such a cute color, such a cute color, what, it's brown, but it's really pretty for your crease, just because it is a matte color, and it looks a lot like the Benefit Hoola Bronzer, like, it's almost identical, I think, actually. I used to use the Hoola Bronzer for a crease color before I had this palette, and that worked perfect for me, so if you have that, you can totally use that. Um, but I'm just putting in my crease, and I know it looks really harsh right now, but I blend it a lot. Like, I blend it out a lot, so don't worry. <laughs>
Then I'm just re-adding some color of Sin back to the like my eyelid just because sometimes it gets a little dark throughout the makeup so I'm just re-adding it to brighten the look again. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline New York Master Precise Eyeliner and I am not very good at liquid eyeliner because I don't use it very often. I'm actually just getting into it again and I'm really excited because now I'm kind of eyeliner obsessed and I'm really trying to find the best one. I really like this one so far so um, I definitely recommend it. Then I'm going in with my mascara. It's the Clump Crusher by CoverGirl and it's so nice you guys. I love it so much. It makes my eyelashes super long and they like separates each one which is so cool because it really enhances the fact that you have a lot of eyelashes. Then I'm going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and this is just a highlight I'm using and then the um, brush is just a fan brush and I'm putting that on my cheekbones and then the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my chin and then my forehead. Then I'm just taking my favorite blush palette at the moment which is the Glamour Palette and it is by Coastal Scents and I'm just taking the like top left corner one, it's like the... It's almost like a brownie color, but I really, really like it. And I'm just putting that on my cheeks and my nose and a little on my forehead. Then I'm just going in with my chapstick, and this is the Nivea one. And lastly, I'm going in with my MAC Cream Sheen Glass, and this is in the color Partial to Pink. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Makeup tutorial, makeup tutorial. Hey guys, so today I have a school DIY to show you, and that's actually three DIYs. One is to customize your composition notebooks because sometimes, like, you need them for science or math classes, 